All right, just gonna do a video about the dangers of social media usage. Now, I do use social media, but the social media addiction that is prevalent today is in fact a danger to health. I'm gonna show that from this article on uh, naturalnews.com. And it gave all the sources in their article. It says, study reveals the virtual and real world, re real world harms of using social media. Now, you know, social media can be great to get the gospel out there. Social media can be great to get the message of Jesus Christ out there. However, social media addiction is definitely a sin and it's definitely a health risk. It poses a risk to your mental and physical and psychological well-being. I'm going to show that from this article right here. So it says, uh, a study unveiled the dangers of using online social media networks, elaborating on how social media negatively affects people in both the actual world and the virtual realm. Researchers at the University of Technology, Sydney, have found more than 40 negative effects of social media use after analyzing more than 50 research articles published between 2003 and 2018. They have, they have, classified, they have classified their findings into six main categories. So. There's six categories of the dangers of social media usage, and let's see what these six categories are. And I, I'm going to testify all the six of these. I've gone through at least one of these at some point in my life using social media. Uh, UTS researcher uh, Layla Brun says that quote much of the research on social on social media network use has focused on its benefits and potential quote she adds we are we are more we were interested in comprehensively identifying the negative effects that have been associated with social media use below are some social media harms Barun and her team have found now, like i said before almost all these social media harms i myself have experienced and chances are if you were addicted to social media at one point you have probably experienced these too at some point so cost of social exchange includes psychological harms of such as a low, lowered self-esteem, depression and anxiety or jealousy. This also encompasses uh, other costs such as wasted time, energy and money. Harms to related to annoying content happen when users see disturbing, violent, sexual or obscene content in their news feeds. This causes them to experience feelings of annoyance or irritation. Low performance happens when productivity in schoolwork or school or work diminishes due to excessive social media use. Now I've seen this at my workplace. People will pull out their phones and go on their phones like in the background and not actually do their work. And I'll admit I've been guilty of that too a couple times. You know, I have had to repent and come before God and ask him to forgive me and help me get this sin out of my life. See, this is the danger of social media. It can help you cut back ill. It, will, it can help you get the message out, but it can also be a very dangerous uh, distraction. And it can be a, very t a big temptation there as well. And it can affect your work performance. And, you know, it's just not good for you. It can, it can make you lazy, essentially. Let's continue to make sure I'm full screen. Yeah. Abuse or harassment by groups fall under cyberbullying. It usually comes in different forms such as sending abusive messages, stalking or spreading false rumors. Privacy concerns arise when users' personal privacy is undermined by data leaks that reveal sensitive engineering. Security threats stem from the op from operations involving fraud and deception such as phishing or social engineering scams. Now, I've seen that quite a lot too, a ton of times on Instagram, Facebook and all the other social media giants. It's very prevalent on these sites. Uh, Ila, Ila, Ila uh, Erfani, hope I'm saying that right, a senior lecturer at UTS says that the negative impacts of social media use, quote, have mostly been studied from a psychopathological perspective. She adds, quote, the World Health Organization has recognized the need for further research on information technology addiction and the need to develop strategies for preventing and treating this problem. Harms of social media come to light. Now here are the harms of social media that are coming to light. Because you see the works of darkness that these social media people like to do, it's brought to light and they don't like that obviously because it cuts back on their income, definitely. Uh, it's, the study comes amid revelations that social media is a deterrent to young so, uh, people's self-esteem and confidence. More than 3.6 billion people use social networks such as Facebook and Instagram, both owned by Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. The social media company has been conducting research on the efforts on, of Instagram on its user base. A report by the Wall Street Journal said that Facebook is aware of Instagram's negative effects on teen girls. Leaked documents interview, reviewed by Wall, the Wall Street Journal, including internal slide presentations, bolstered this finding. 
yeah, they know they know about this kind of stuff, but they're not going to deal with it. Why? Because it keeps the people addicted. What the social media does is it releases dopamine, and it's a, a substance that gets you. It basically makes you feel good, and the dopamine helps. It, it gets released when you get likes and clicks on social media, so you keep coming back for more and more and more, like a drug, like a psychological drug that messes you up mentally. Let's continue. Facebook researchers mentioned in a March 2020 slide that quote 32 percent of teen girls said that when they felt bad about their bodies, Instagram made them feel worse. The researchers added quote the comparisons on Instagram can change how the young women, how young women view and describe themselves. This finding reinforced a 2019 internal slide that said Instagram quote makes body issues worse for one in three teen girls. Uh, then you go down there. Furthermore, internal slides reveal that teams blame Instagram for increases in the rate of anxiety and depression. They warn that the Explore page can send users deep into harmful content. Now, I've seen that personally myself. Back when I was a lost person, my Explore page had all kinds of disgusting, dirty content on it, and it was messing me up psychologically. Plain and simple. When I, that was when I was a lost, hellbound atheist. Very, very dangerous. Uh, Instagram's Explore page uh, displays photos and videos created by an algorith algorithm based on content they view and like and other users they follow. And then you go down there, that's, that's the end of the article right there. But this, these are the negative effects that social media can have on your kids and even on you if you're an, you're an adult. Social media can mess you up, it can mess up your mental health, it can mess you up psychopathologically, and it can mess you up spiritually as well these are the dangers of social media now social media can be good to get the message of jesus christ out there but it can also be a danger to distract you and get you addicted and take you away from your service to god and your service service to the gospel for spreading the gospel and also your work performance your school work if you're in a class or whatever it's very very dangerous there's a good side to it and there's a bad side to it plain and simple you use it properly then you won't get into any trouble and you put you set limits too. You should set also have limits on your social media use. Like for example, when you're you're about to go to bed, put the phone away, get the phone away from your hands, so you don't get distracted to look on it, which can affect your sleep, which is a whole other issue. So and there's other ways things you can do as well. You can put your phone in a different room. You can just turn on airplane mode so you don't get notifications. That's what I like to do quite a lot. I turn on airplane mode. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren, and just be careful about social media. Uh, anyway, God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.